Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are doing another spending spree Saturday. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. I decided to hold off on doing the spending sprees just because we was getting the same customizations in diamond and silver and everything like that. So I decided to hold off on it for quite a while. But we do have the new Frontline Fighters Pack which is available. The 50,000 coins, so we're going to be opening a million of these uh, which is going to be very nice. Hopefully we can get ourselves uh, a, a new couple of sets and also some new legendary customizations. It would be very nice as well so before we do that though i do have 50 rainbow stars so we're going to open the 50 rainbow star chest it is cats versus dino this week but i'm not I i'm getting kind of burned out on cats versus dinos because it's the same map and it's it's repetitive all the time and they bring it every month as well i feel if it came every couple of months it wouldn't be as bad but they do bring it every month uh, and it is getting a little bit repetitive. I did mention on Twitter it would be nice if we could maybe upgrade our characters, either customize them or we could upgrade them so they could have new abilities. We could use time shards for that. Because apart from opening the infinity chest, there's no use of time shards. But uh, anyway, we're going to go into the sticker shop. We're going to open this red chest and uh, we should get ourselves at least a Garden Warfare 1 taunt or a legendary customization. So let us open this and uh, let us see what we get. All right, so we get ourselves Aloha. The uh, a Garden Warfare 1 taunt for the pea shooter. We get Silver Red Lights, which is a classic customization. And we also get an Otaku set as well, which is some Herdu and a nice little crown for Rose. Uh, looks pretty nice. Probably something I wouldn't wear myself because I have got like a, a wolf hat, which I'm going to put on my Rose character, which is in at the new Frontline Fighters pack. But still, nevertheless, it does look pretty awesome. So we're going to be opening about 20 of these packs. So let's see what customizations we can get. Okay, so we start off with a gem space ball set. So that's one set of a helmet completely uh, finished. We get an Egyptian set for Colonel Khan, three group shrooms, an in Inca Inca set, and also a Plague Doctor set. So what what these sets are is you will have an Egyptian set for Colonel Khan's head, his eyes. A tattoo and also the organic and once you put them all together it will look awesome uh, together usually in Garden Warfare 1 in Legends of the Lawn they said like one out of four on the card so you exactly know um, how many you've got but also one thing I wish would be different in this is for example um, I got an Egyptian set for Colonel Khan then I could get a silver customization of that exact set but I've not got anything else in the standard set so as you can see this is a prospect to set for his head I could get this in silver before I get any other of the standard sets for the rest of the engineer. Uh, we get silver judge star set, retro space set, a tribal set, and also a weed as well. So hopefully you guys are excited to have the spending spree Saturday back. It's been a long time. People did enjoy it, and they do enjoy pack openings anyway. So uh, yeah, we get a gold royal knight set, silver retro space set, a judge star set, and a prehistoric set. I do like that tattoo on the imp. It makes him look a little old though. Um, we've got a grandpa imp in the game. Confirmed. No, not really. Alright, let's carry on going. You see what I mean? Silver prospector set, but we've not seen any more of the prospector sets on the engineer. Uh, a lunar set, silver sheriff set, and a gold bonehead set, and then a self-revive as well. Now, I know that the further you get into these packs, the less customizations you get. I think Clink, she's only getting one customization per pack now. But she still has about 50 customizations to go. Um, and you just get a lot of consumables in there, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, ooh, a silver Cosmo set. I have seen the standard customization of this in, in multiplayer, and I do think it looks awesome on the imp. Uh, it's like Saturn floating on a on a zombie's head. Uh, on, a, on, a, on an imp's head. Now we get the silver prehistoric set as well. There. Not as good. I do prefer the standard prehistoric set compared to the silver one. But some customizations look good. In a in like scrumptious or diamond or gem or something like that, but some of them look terrible. Like this in gold looks good. You can tell the difference in this one, but there's some customization you can't even tell the difference sometimes. Gem tribal set, knight set for the foot soldier as well. Very nice. I'm gonna try and skip through the diamond and silver gem uh, things like that just so we can get through and look at the new uh, sets that we haven't seen yet. So we get silver gypsum set, lunar set once again for the chomper. Uh, silver space ball set. I don't think we'd seen that one. Or the diamond royal set. 
I do like what that looks like. And then a buckethead zombie as well. Very nice. A very nice indeed. One thing I do want to mention as well is people are still asking uh, questions about uh, the characters. Can you get them in the Zombopolis pack? Because the Zombopolis pack does have the highest chance of getting legendaries. You cannot... Oh, that's very nice. You cannot get... Uh, any of the new characters in any other pack apart from this Frontline Fighters pack. Even the legendary characters, even though the Zombopolis pack has a higher chance, you cannot get them in uh, in any other pack apart from the Frontline Fighters pack. And uh, this is the wolf hat that I was talking about. I've got it in the silver now as well, but I do prefer the original. I would love to get it in Scrumptious though. I think getting it in Scrumptious would be amazing. Um, I do love the Scrumptious customizations. They are very rewarding, especially when you unlock them through boss hunt, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to play the next boss hunt, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not even sure what date it comes out. And let me check the date that the boss hunt is going to come out. I believe it is the 29th, so I'm at aim. I, bleh, I may not even be home then, because uh, I may be going, I'm going back home to my dad's, uh, so I may not even be home then, but I will try my best to try and get some kind of... I want to try and get all of the customizations, so I'll try my best to try and get you some gameplay uh, around that time, but of course it's the holidays, so more than likely uh, that's not going to be the case, but I will try my best. My sister's coming down during that period, so I don't know. If I can get 20 minutes free, I'll do something, but I doubt I will. So I don't want to promise you something that can't happen, but yeah. I want to get a legendary. Give me the legendary. Silver Ranger set, Silver's Retro Space set, and then the Miner set once again. Um, oh no, it was Moon set for the Chomper. Was it Moon set for the Chomper? I think it was Moon set for the Chomper. I honestly cannot remember. Gold Chivalry set, Silver Egyptian set, Silver Tribal set, Silver Furrow set, and a Pumpkin Weed. This is just Silver and Gold. Silver and Gold. Silver and Gold. <laughs> Come on, give me those legendaries. Diamond Mayan Pirate set, Silver Luna set, Royal Knight set, Mr. Electro times one. Come on. There's five packs. At least give us five of them. And a gold alchemy set as well. So we're coming down to our last of four packs now because I was on 11,115,000. And we've still not managed to get ourselves a legendary Silver Wild West set, Gem Pirate Knight set, Prospector set. There we go. There's another uh, piece of the uh, puzzle for the Prospector set for the Engineer and also a Self Revive. Is every consumable just one? Because they seem to all just give me one. Let's have a look if this one gives me one. Nope, that one gives me three. Okay, fair enough. Medieval set for the imp. I like that one. Three dandelions, silver inks a set, and a silver prospector set as well. So we have had the standard prospector set for a mustache, which I didn't realize before. So I have done a pack opening previously on this. Ooh, gem. I didn't know we got diamond already. I didn't know we'd had diamond and silver. Uh, gold and diamond. Did I go past those? Did we? Did I miss those? I must have missed those. I remember silver being the last one. Fair enough. <laughs> Joasting set, gem bandit set, and gem bone head set. And the final pack that we're going to be opening today is... Ooh, a nice tattoo there for the, um, for the pea shooter. Silver astronaut set, gold prehistoric set. That one looks better than the silver, but still not as good as the original. Gold ancient scientist set. Middle Age set and a Bucket Zombie. So there we go. I'm just going to try and showcase you a set right now. Let me go through my customizations and see if I have a complete set. Um, I'm going to say if I do, it's going to be for the for the Colonel Corn. I know I have three out of one set for these. So we have the Royal Knight set. Do I have the Royal Knight set? Um, accessory. I don't know if I do. If I do, then I've got the full set. It doesn't look like I have the royal... Oh, I do! There we go. So, that's a crown as well. And then this is the royal knight set, and this is the royal knight set. So, you can see they all go together. We've kind of got the royal cloak. We have a chainmail uh, accessory around his head. We've got a gold crown for, uh, like, some glasses or some sunglasses. And then we do have uh, the hat, the knight hat, which you put together. So, this is what a set would look like. They look very well together, and this one looks awesome. Awesome indeed. Unfortunately, we didn't get ourselves any more legendaries. Uh, let me see if I have... I'm just curious. I want to put the... This is the wolf what I've got, and I'm not sure what set it comes under. Let me see if I've got the full set for this. Tribal set. There we go. So there's one section of the tribal set. Look how good that, that hat looks. I love it. Have we got the tribal set for here as well? 
We do. So we have some rope glasses. Tribal set for an organic. Yes, we do. There we go. There's a nice little wooden one. And then the final one, which is the tattoo. Do we have the tribal set? Oh, we got tribal face. I guess if we don't have the tribal set, that kind of works. Come on. Oh, we do have the tribal set. There we go. So there's another complete set. As you can see, all of this goes well together as well. You can see the wand works with the cape and the sunglasses. And then we have the wolf for the top as well. So there are some of the sets. I'm probably going to try and unlock as many sets as I can and showcase them all. Uh, hopefully that's something you would enjoy. What's this notification? Oh, I did not even realize Infinity Packs were back. Oops. <laughs> I did not take notice that they were back. I've literally skipped past them so many times. And I did not realize that they're back. There they are. They're right back there. 200,000 coins for three items. Pretty steep and expensive. But uh, you can unlock those two if you want to. But uh, I'm not going to open any in today's video. Because I'm going to try and um, do maybe, I don't know, like a million. Just in its separate own video. I don't know. Or I may I may not even open some of these packs. Because it is quite expensive. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's spending spree. It is back if you want to see one next week as well. And let me know in the comments down below if you've got this far into the video. I don't know how many of you actually watched the entire video. If you have watched this far into the video, say pizza is nice in the comments. Okay, thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Exfusions and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.